Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gary. I'm a cybersecurity professional by day. Today I'm going to give you an overview of Hack the Box. If you've never seen Hack the Box before, this video was made just for you. Yeah! I've been on Hack the Box for years at this point and honestly I probably wouldn't have passed my OSCP without it. Hack the Box is my favourite place to come and play. So let's take a look at it. So Hack the Box is a website that lets you hack as it would imply, boxes are machines that you hack into, that's what they call them, and you get to hack into them. So first of all, to sign up to Hack the Box, all you need to do is register as normal. Back in the good old days when I joined up, you actually had to hack your way in to Hack the Box. When I was a boy, we didn't have these video games. You had to play with their API through JavaScript and do a few little techniques to generate a unique token, which would then let you sign up for an account. They seem to have got rid of that because they're much more about teaching people how to hack than having to force people to learn to hack in order to get onto their platform, which doesn't make sense. So I'm glad that's gone. Anyone can sign up at this point. And if you're interested in hacking, I recommend that you do. So this is the UI. Let me just walk you around here a little bit. Left hand side, we've got the usual menu. Bottom left, you see the version number. You also see it here. So this is version three of the Hack the Box system. And you can see how it's changed over the years if you click on that. Now here you see Pro Hacker. That is my rank. Hack the Box works on a system of points and you start off at the lowest rank and you can end up at the highest rank if you hack your way up. And we'll get into how the points are issued in a while. It's all down to active versus retired boxes and I'll explain the difference. But the benefit of moving up the ranks is not just some sort of dopamine filled hit. It actually allows you to apply for jobs. <gasps> because some jobs you have to be a certain rank to apply for. So let's see. If I come over on the left and click the careers button, you'll see there's two things. One is companies where you can enroll your company or you can view companies that are listed on here. So here are all the jobs and you can see if I wanted to work at Synac in the red team for as a freelancer, it says I am eligible for this job and I can apply for it. If I click on the job board, I can see all of the jobs across the whole Hack the Box platform. And there's 195 at the minute. You can filter them based on your rank and there you can actually see all the ranks in order. So noob, script kitty, hacker, pro hacker, me, elite, guru, and omniscient. So we'll filter like this. And these are all the jobs that I could apply for with my rank. So that's your incentive potentially to learn how to hack and rank up. You can apply for jobs straight on this platform. If we go back to the home page, you'll see there's a few different icons here. This is how you learn. So when I started off, it was just machines, boxes, computers that you would hack into. And if I click on this, get rid of this pop-up. You can see there's a few tabs here, active machines, retired machines, a to-do list where you can save your favorites that you're working on and releases that are coming in the future. But let's just focus on these left two, active versus retired. Every couple of weeks, a machine gets retired from the active area and becomes a retired machine and they replace it with a new machine. You can only earn points on the active machines and those points go towards your rank. So if you want to rank up, you can't do it on the retired machines. If you want to hack on the retired machines which have video and multiple text-based tutorials, you have to pay for the VIP subscription. So let's have a look at that. Up the top, upgrade to VIP, and you can pay annually and you get a discount, you get two months off. And what you get is all of the retired machines, all of the retired challenges, we'll come on to those later. You get 24 hours worth of Pwnbox per month. We'll come to Pwnbox later. All the write-ups, isolated servers, and a few other things. On the 15 pounds a month version, you get your own instances and unlimited 
Pwn box. So your own instances means you get your own version of that box to hack on. No one else could be on that machine with you. There's been times where I've put my exploits into a machine and as I'm hunting around, I found someone else's exploits in the box as well because we're both hacking on literally the exact same machine, which can lead to some issues. It's not very often, but it can do. The Pwn box thing is essentially a hacking computer, Parrot instead of Kali Linux, in the browser. So you don't need to set up your virtual machines on your computer and faff around with VPNs and stuff. It's all just right there in the browser. It's pretty cool. So that's how the VIP sides of things works. If we go back to these machines, you can see there's different colors. Orange is the medium difficulty ones. Red is hard. Green is easy. You can also see Windows, Linux, icons in the bottom right hand corners of them all and the ratings, how many people have got the user account, how many people have got the system account. So if you want, you could sort by difficulty or filter by difficulty if you just want to do the easy ones and go and crack these ones first. Obviously, the ones that have the most owns are probably the easier ones. You just click on it and then you click on join machine. That's it, it started and that's its IP address. You can leave the machine, reset it, submit flags, add it to your to-do list and leave a review. Submitting the flag, if you're new to hacking and sort of hacking platforms, submitting flags or hashes is a common way of proving that you've hacked into something. So on the desktops of all of these machines that you hack into, you'll find a little text file, one called user.txt and then one called root.txt. You can only get those if you are capable of doing it. And what's inside those text files are unique hashes. So you can't send them to your friend. They're a one-time deal. They're unique to your machine. And when you get the hash, you come on here, submit the flag, paste it in and assign a difficulty. And that's what helps other people decide whether the difficulty is for them or not. So whenever you see these scoring systems, you can see the votes here. 1,075 votes for the hardest part of easy for some people. So that's how that works. And if we go back and click on retired machines, which we won't be able to actually spawn because we don't have a VIP membership. If I click on this. Okay, so here's the retired machine. It's called retired, which is just coincidental. It's a medium difficulty Linux machine. And if we want, we can click walkthroughs and there is an official hack the box write up, but there's also a whole bunch of write ups by good hackers and OXDF is one of the best. And here's OXDF's write up of the retired machine. You can learn a lot from just reading these write ups. You can learn loads and especially once you actually get comfortable hacking, there's no harm in not even attacking the box and just coming in here and having a read to brush up on some tips. So this write-up will cover everything you need to hack into this machine. And this one looks pretty crazy, I'm sure. If you're watching this video, it means you probably haven't seen Hack the Box, so all of this might terrify you a little bit, but don't be afraid. So that's how the write-ups works. There's also another place where the write-ups exist, and that's on Ipsec's YouTube channel. Ipsec is someone who's been making video walkthroughs of Hack the Box machines for years at this point. I believe every single machine has been written up and videoed by Ipsec, and I actually think he might be part of Hack the Box team these days. Really, really cool guy, knows his onions, and I highly recommend that if you do join Hack the Box, come in here and have a look at some of these videos. You'll learn a lot. Something else that's very useful is this website here. So ipsec.rocks is Ipsec's search engine for his videos. He puts all the timestamps in his videos and you can come in here and search for things. So if we type Nmap, you can see all of the video names on the left. These are all the names of the Hack the Box videos and the start of Nmap, which is the start of his Nmap scan. So there's really no excuses to not crack in a lot of these boxes. We're very lucky to have our hands held by people like Ipsec. Let's have a look at challenges. 
there's this challenges button on the left hand side and if we open it up you'll see again we have active and retired challenges the next one gets released in two days and you'll see they're broken up into a few categories if I just move my face up here you can see pwn hardware crypto mobile reversing 33 challenges 15 challenges 31 so there's quite a lot of challenges in each of these and if we open that up these are all of the pwn challenges again same drill click into these and off you go some of them you start an instance so you'll start a web server probably other ones you download some files that's more common in the forensics aspect so if i open up obscure you'll see here download the files and if we click this you see the password is hack the box to unlock the zip file and then you read this description that's the challenge and once you figure out the flags submit your flags and give it your difficulty there's what the flag looks like by the way capital htb hack the box curly braces and then some text in the middle so that's challenges next up fortresses fortresses are quite cool they're provided by companies and it's a little way of getting you to interact with a company in a hacking capacity so maybe you're going to apply for a job through one of these companies and you want to prove that you've done their fortress you can come and do that here click fortresses on the left and as you can see there's a few different fortresses six at the time of recording this video and if we open up the Acurva fortress I've completed this one and it's a similar deal you input the hashes here and read the description and carry on um, there is the entry point that's the IP address so you connect with your connection pack into the fortress and then that is what you're going to be attacking pop your hashes in there and then claim your reward so next up is end games end games are slightly more advanced i haven't even done an end game yet because they are guru rank but they are real world simulated infrastructure meaning when you go onto one of these boxes you might find a small group of systems that seem to be talking to each other sending emails to each other fake users that are browsing the web active directory a few more complicated things than you would see in a traditional machine that you attack on hack the box so once you get to guru rank which i just don't have the time to do at the minute you then get the chance to take part in some of these fortresses next up is pro labs these are a paid add-on so these don't come part of any of the current subscription models if we click into dante you see here subscribe and this is a place where you can come and practice on some really really cool setups so if you're maybe practicing for a red team certification or some of the more advanced pen testy exams you might want to come in here and subscribe to this but they're meant to be very very cool you can see the description here what's involved 14 machines in this lab with six servers with 26 active users and again you put your hashes in here it's pretty cool and I would love to have the time to do one lastly we'll look at battlegrounds at the time of recording battlegrounds is in beta but they probably will stay around for a good while this is where you can come and play against other players in a real-time game of hacking so a few people on the blue team a few people on the red team and you try and hack into each other's computers and patch each other's computers to do all sorts of weird and wonderful things it's a very very cool concept and I've watched a few of these live events and it's quite fun you learn a lot doing this so if you're interested in more of the blue team tactics this could be a place for you to play on hack the box Academy this is a separate subdomain of hack the box and you can sign up and take a variety of courses and learning pathways so if you don't know anything about hacking at all this could be the place to come and learn the basics before you jump into the actual practical side of pen testing and red teaming you can see here they have things like introduction to networking it's useful to know that before you start actually hacking how does a network work so hack the box academy is pretty cool worth checking out hack the box also sells some swag and if i 
reveal mine in all its glory. This is some original swag. Gangsters, what's up guys? From back in the day. There's a retired machine called Swag Shop here on Hack the Box. And back when it first launched, if you hacked into that machine, you got early access to the shop and you could order these t-shirts and a few other things off of the shop. So this is one of the originals that had to be earned back in the day. Nowadays, you can just buy them. So this is the store. You can come in here, get your stickers, get your beanies, tons of different swag, Christmas jumpers and all sorts. It's a bit of fun. And when you're done all that and you want to just check out where you exist in the world, there's a rankings page. So you can see here, I need 85 points to head up to the next rank bracket. My top global rank was 427. They even break it down into countries. So you can click on countries and then see where you sit within your country. I'm in the UK. I can click on that. And then if I do a search for chameleon, what does it say? 86th, joint 86th in the UK. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what it is. So that's Hack the Box. I hope you enjoyed that overview. If you do join Hack the Box, feel free to add me as a friend on there. My name's Chameleon. And as always, have a play.